Welcome to the City Council meeting for May 23rd. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, would you remain standing for a moment, please? I'd like to start tonight's meeting with a uh, moment of silence for the Auburn police officer, Ronald Tarantino, who was uh, tragically shot down uh, yesterday. Thank you. Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you very much. Could I possibly have a moment of personal privilege? You may. Uh, Mr. President, we have two young ladies who are sophomores at Brockton High School, uh, Alexis and Nicole, who uh, called me not too long ago stating that, that they were concerned with the homeless issues here in the city of Brockton, an issue that's dear to all of us. And they have a plan and some thoughts of some things that they want to do. So I, I asked them if the, if the council would approve that they come before us and actually make a small presentation to us. If there's no objection, would they please step forward and give their names to the clerk, right to the rostrum, please. Good evening, and your names? Good evening, my name's Alexis. My name's Nicole Mejia. Thank you, and your ideas? Okay, so Starting our second semester at Brockton High School, some students from Bridgewater came and they were part of a project called Generation Citizen. And they um, are this program that helps students get their voice out and make a change in their community. And so Alexis will tell you about our plans. So um, a student had an idea where in France she heard about a rule or a law that was passed where restaurants at the end of the day would donate their extra food to the homeless. So we thought that we could do that here with the local restaurants in Brockton. So we were thinking about like maybe Dunkin' Donuts, Honeydew, McDonald's maybe, and supermarkets like Market Basket, Shaw's, and Stop and Shop that have cafes where they make their food there. And so at the end of the day, instead of wasting the food and throwing them away, we decided it would be a good idea to donate the food to the homeless. So we wanted to ask your help because uh, we feel that if we just talk to the restaurants on our own, they wouldn't listen to some high school students. So if we get your support, it would be a more long lasting effect and it would support the cause. Councilor Rodriguez. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Stand on. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, as I said, these two young lady, uh, ladies are from our fine public school system, and they came up with this thought and this idea, and that's something that I, I believe that I will help them uh, push forward. So uh, I will probably be uh, uh, submitting a resolve in the near future for us to basically look at this issue seriously for them. And I agree, and ladies, I think, we, I think we'll all support that, but I can tell you that they'll listen to you better than they'll listen to us. Probably. So <laughs> you get out and talk to those, uh, those stores and those uh, restaurants, and I think you'll get a lot done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you. you Good luck, ladies. <laughs> Councilor Barnes. <clears throat> Mr. President, I would like to um, ask for a moment of personal priv privilege, please. You may. Thank you. Um, we've all been made aware, I'm sure, from the news and, and just um, here in the city of a young man, a phenomenal young man who uh, found it, uh, I, I guess, one, one of his priorities to make his scholastic achievement and his scholastic goals a priority to him. And um, he's here today, and I just wanted to formally recognize uh, what he has done. I, I'm pretty sure it's unprecedented uh, here and even probably in the country for um, being accepted to seven Ivy League schools. Um, and you know, I'm pretty sure Yale is probably looking for you now uh, <laughs> because they were the ones that lost out. But I wanted to definitely just uh, on, behalf, well, on behalf of the council just to um, present you with a citation. Councilor, perhaps do you want to go down there and read it to us and have him join you at the rostrum? Sure, sure. Thank you. Uh, counselors, this is Obina 
Ibo Kwe. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> um, his parents are also here. Um, but this young man, I, I do want to say too, um, you know, sometimes kids, they get made fun of. Sometimes if, you know, they have uh, high grades or they do well in school and, and this young man uh, took it upon himself to, to make sure that he was uh, achieving well and, and we recognize that. So I just want to read to you the official citation from the city of Brockton. It reads as follows. City of Brockton, Massachusetts, <coughs> official citation, be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Obina Ibukwe, a senior at Brockton High School, working toward his international baccalaureate diploma in recognition of GPA of 4.512. Out of the 28 colleges and universities that Obina applied to, he was accepted to all but four, including seven of the Ivy League schools. And be it further known that the city council extends best wishes for your continued success, that this citation be duly signed by the president of the council and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the clerk of the council. And it is signed by our illustrious president, uh, Councillor of Ward 1, Timothy Cruz, uh, and attested to by our clerk of the council, Anthony Zioli, and offered by myself, city councilor at large, Shana Barnes, and this was actually uh, for May 9th, but we had to work around your schedule to have you here, so I'm glad that you're here for this, and I want to present that to you, but also, in a dual role, um, in the daytime, in my day role, I am uh, the district representative for Congressman Stephen Lynch, who is the, uh, the um, U.S. representative for this area in the 8th Congressional District, and unfortunately, he had to go back to Washington uh, today, but I did make sure that I told him, and, and of course, you know, he's, he saw in the news about your achievement, he also wanted uh, me to present you with a congressional citation, and it reads as follows, a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Obina Ibukwe in recognition of your outstanding academic achievement and your admission into seven Ivy League schools, also signed May 9th. 2016 by your member of Congress, Stephen F. Lynch. Congratulations, and we know you're going to make us proud. And I don't know if he would be offered a chance to just maybe say something in the best of counsel. I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful for the experience that I was able to get within Brockton, having grown up here through all of my, all of my life. And I have had a great opportunity in Brockton High School, not only in the academics, but also being able to do various extracurricular activities, like representing Massachusetts and international global youth summits and things such as that. But I plan to go to Harvard next year in major well, double major in biomedical engineering in a business slash econ track. So, thank you. Congratulations. We're very proud of you. Very proud of you, and congratulations to your parents. Yeah, really. I know how much work it is to be the parent. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, you Mr. President. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Clerk, now we can get to the real work. Before he takes over the uh, city council, too. <laughs> we have the approval of the city council minutes of May 9, 2016. Questions on approval of the minutes? All those in favor? <laughs> Opposed? The minutes are accepted. The appointment of Paul Marion, 20 Bassett Road, as a member of the License Commission for a three year term ending May 2019, replacing <coughs> Scott McDuffie. Refer to finance. Uh, while the, uh, the clerk is getting out the next petitions, I'd also like to take a moment to uh, recognize the uh, members of Troop 17 from Prince of Peace Church. Uh, different age groups are actually becoming pretty uh, regular members here, and we're proud of that. Uh, they're here with their leaders, uh, Mark Dale, Gary Miskinis, and Leanne Hayer, Hayer. And uh, they're here to earn their Citizens of the Community badges. And uh, congratulations, work hard on it, and uh, Perhaps you can get accepted at seven of the Ivy League schools uh, <laughs> when you're seniors in high school. So thank you very much for being here, and thank you to the troop leaders for, uh, for guiding them so well. We have the renewal petition of GameStop 2225, 715 Crescent Street, for secondhand articles license. Refer to public safety. 
Petition of GameStop number 682, 200 Westgate Drive, Brockton, for a secondhand article license. Refer to public safety. We have the petition of London W. Hall, DBA Quality Foods, for a hawker and peddler's license. Refer to public safety. Okay. We have the report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of May 10, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 16, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Okay, we have a communication from the Mayor submitted the annual budget for fiscal 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO pursuant to the Acts of 324, I strike that, to Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990 relative to the recommended annual budget for fiscal 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. President. Councilor Ranieri. Mr. President, at this time I'd like to make a motion that we waive the readings of the communication items number 10 through 40. Three, as is pertaining to the reestablishment of revolving accounts. Second. As we do every year. Second. Motion made to second it to dispense with the readings on items 10 through 43. All those in favor? Hmm. Opposed? And just for the public at home, as Councilor Ianieri stated, yeah. these are uh, letters from the mayor and the CFO <coughs> pursuant to yearly uh, revolving accounts that we uh, maintain for various uh, issues that the city has to pay for as we go. Uh, and they're all, they're all the same, uh, so we are going to dispense with those. So, Mr. Clerk, item number 44. Communication from the fire chief requested a transfer any amount of $100,000 from fire department personal services other than overtime to fire department overtime to maintain all nine fire stations from May 11, 2016 through June 30, 2016 to fund overtime spending due to vacations and vacant positions as well as members on extended sick or injury leave. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the fire chief requesting the acceptance of a grant totaling $300 from Harbor One Bank to the Brockton Fire Department for fire safety education to the students of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending acceptance and expenditures of a grant in the amount of $35,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Conservation and Recreation to Parks and Recreation Conservation and Recreation Grant Fund, such funds to be used to improve McKinley Park. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Section 2 398, Composition and Conservation Commission, is hereby deleted and replaced. In Council, February 22nd, 2016, refer to the Committee on Ordinance, and that report is favorable. Uh, the question is on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment is included. Question is now on passage by a uh, roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Hayes Hack. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneeri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The ordinance is ordained. An ordinance amending Chapter 17 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 17, Article 2, Planning Board, Division 1, generally Section 17-18, members is hereby amended by deleting this section in its entirety and replacing. End Council, February 22, 2016. Ready for the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed, the amendment is included. Question is now on passing uh, as a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hayes Hack. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. <coughs> yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The ordinance is ordained. Order that the city petitions the general court for approval under clause one of section eight of article two as amended of the amendments of the constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts of an act relative to the appointment of special police officers in the city of Brockton. In council May 9th, 2016, before the committee on finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. 
Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Levin in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. Council President. Councilor Ianieri. If I might, I'd like to move for reconsideration in hopes that it did not prevail on item second. number 54. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Orders are in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44. The City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $50,000. From the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Urban Agenda Program to City of Brockton Planning Department Urban Agenda Program Grant Fund to conduct feasibility studies and to develop a business plan for the projects, a restaurant incubator, a community kitchen food incubator, and co-work space, no match required, and Council May 9, 2016, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Uh, the order is adopted. Resolved that the Executive Director of Brockton Interfaith Community and Angel Cause may be invited to appear before a committee of this council to report on their findings on faith-based concerns addressing the root causes of shootings and other violence in our community. In Council May 9, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneeri. Yes. Harwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. No. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative, one in the negative. The order is adopted. We have the order of the annual budget for fiscal year 2017. Refer to finance. We have the laying out and acceptance of Coe Road from Upton Street to east of Alphonse Road, including the taking of an easement for highway purposes over lands of identified property owners. Refer to finance. Mr. President. Councilor Ianieri. If I might, I'm going to order, uh, ask that we have a motion on items number 59 through 70. Again, it's pursuant to the uh, revolving accounts. Um, I'd like to waive the reading on them this evening. Second. Uh, actually, before I take your motion, uh, uh, corrected on number 58, it's also referred to planning. planning. Uh, now a motion has been made and seconded to dispense with the readings on items 59 through 70, which are strictly the orders to reestablish the yearly uh, revolving funds. All those in favor? Opposed? Those are all referred to finance. Okay. Order that the personnel director research the salary levels for comparable positions in the school department and municipal government and prepare a report for review by the city council. Further, that this report be provided within 90 days of the date of this order unless the personnel director requests additional time. Refer to finance. Transfer of $100,000 from fire department personnel services, other than overtime, to fire department overtime. These funds are to maintain all nine fire stations from May 11, 2016 through June 30, 2016, to fund overtime spending due to vacations and vacant positions, as well as members on extended sick or injury leave. The funding is coming from unused <coughs> funds for separation costs. Councilor Stadensky. If I might, I'd make a motion this time that we move this under suspension of the rules through the lateness of uh, it coming in here, the shortness and the amount of work we have to do, we'll never reach it in the time to pay second. the people. Motion made and seconded to take item 72 this evening and act on it under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? The fire chief is here if anybody has questions, uh, and uh, you may remain seated. Councilor Ianieri. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Just one question, Chief. Um, Good evening, Councilor. What we're doing here this evening, this should be fine for what you have to do to, to make it for the rest of the fiscal year? Correct. You'll be, you'll be there, okay? Yeah, it also, it, it gives me a slight buffer. Okay. And the reason being is that um, in the last contract, an extra personal day was assigned to the men, and it's, it's usually saved till the end of the fiscal year. We, the, the personal days go till June 30th. Okay. So we have quite a few on the books that haven't been used yet. So just to give ourselves a little bit of a buffer, um, we up the amount, and this should be plenty to get us through to, get you, to the to end get of you the through. year. Okay, good. And, and I just want to make a comment. I know I think you, you're winding up to your first full year as being the, the chief, so I do want to take time to thank you and commend you for the work that you've done with the uh, department this year. You're, you're an outstanding uh, asset as being the chief. Thank you very and, uh, much. You've got a great, great group of men and women there, too. So thank you. So thank appreciate you, it very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank, thank you. you. Any other questions? 
And just so you know, as a junior department head, you'll be the last person scheduled at night to do your budget. So I, I found that out. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, I, 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 I just, if I could, I, it's a little off track, but I think it'd be important since the chief's here, if I could, Mr. President. We'll with the, with the, good evening, chief. Good evening, council. The, the, the new truck that's, that's in the city of Brockton, is that a loan or I heard it was from it, Colorado? It is, it is on loan. There was an agreement right. when we purchased the new ladder truck. That obviously we takes quite a while to build. Right. And the distributor offered a loaner truck while this new truck is being built. Okay. And it was delivered about, about a month ago. We went over it, um, outfitted and equipped it for Brockton. The, the men had to train on it for a couple of weeks and it went into service last uh, Monday. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Chief. Week ago. Thank you very much. You Thank won't. you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd entertain a motion. Um, Mr. President, if I, if I Council may, Barnes? to follow up on that. Thank you, um, sure. Council Sullivan. So, it's on loaner, but when we get the new one, will we have to take that back, or, is, or do we have an option to maybe well, keep that and add it to the There's a couple fleet? of stipulations in place, mm -hmm. and it, it's being discussed that at the end of the, the, the loan, if you will, mm -hmm. there's an option to buy. Okay. So we are looking at that possibility. It would make a, 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 an outstanding spare ladder truck, which we would really uh, need. Yeah, it's so been in it, use. I've seen it all over already. And, it, and it's, yeah. it does have a few years on it, but it is a, still a, a great truck. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Any other questions? Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ineri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Miley. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. Councilor Stadensky. I move for reconsideration in hopes it does not Second. prevail. Second. Yeah. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed, reconsideration fails. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Councilors. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Item 73. Order that pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council hereby authorizes the acceptance and expenditure by the Fire Department of a grant in the amount of $300 from Harbor One Bank as set forth in the attached grant documents. Such funds are to be used for the areas of youth, education, and prevention by the fire education offices to assist in delivering the message of fire safety to the stu students of Brockton. No match is required. Refer to finance. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council hereby authorizes the ex acceptance and expenditures of a grant and the amount of $35,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. Such funds are to be held under the Park and Recreation Conservation and Recreation Grant Fund and to be used to improve McKinley Park. There is no match required. Refer to finance. That the audit that the City Council of the City of Brockton petitions the Great and General Court under the provisions of Section 8 of Article 89 of the Amendments to the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for an act as follows. An act relative to establishing of a Bill of Rights for homeowners in the City of Brockton. Refer to finance. A resolve that the Mayor, his designee, the Police Chief, the Fire Chief, or their designees, the Chairman of the License Commission, or his designee, the Executive Director of the Board of Health, and the Superintendent of Buildings be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss ongoing code enforcement activities, available staffing, as well as specific objections for the next fiscal year. Refer to public safety. Resolved that the Brockton Water Systems Manager, a representative of the Brockton Water Commission, a representative of Central Plymouth County Water District Commission, Mr. Alex Mansfield and Mr. Pine Dubois of the Jones River Watershed Association be invited to a meeting with the council to discuss issues affecting the quality and quantity of the city's water's resources. Refer to finance. Resolved to have members of the staff of the Barton 21st Century Corp, <clears throat> along with Mayor Carpenter, to inform the city council on covering projects taking place to promote further economic development, new business, maintaining businesses, and other outstanding issues being faced by this organization. Refer to finance. Mr. President, I just had some clarification um, from you as the chair. On 76, could you just explain why that was sent to public safety and not FinCom? Uh, it is a public safety issue. Uh, if you'd like it sent to fi finance, we can do that also. To finance? Both myself and, and Councilor Large file will file the results. So I Let's think finance. finance would so be great if you could, Mr. Refer President. Refer to finance. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Okay, 79. <clears throat> Resolved that have Matthew Zaylor of Trinity Financial Corp and other individuals from this company to update the City Council as the development of a parking garage at the Enterprise Block and any information regarding a restaurant inside this establishment. Refer to finance. Uh, councilors, uh, uh, not on your agendas, but filed by uh, Council Beauregard, uh, we do have a resolve. Uh, it got caught in the email system. It was not spit out till May 23rd, but it is dated May 16th, so it will be. It's not a late file. It will be on your agenda. The, council, uh, the clerk has the resolve. If he could read it, please. Resolve for <clears throat> May 23rd, 2016, City Council and Transformative Development Initiative. Resolve to invite Mr. George Duart, the new fellow hired through Mass Development, to work on downtown economic projects under the Transformative Development Initiative in the hopes that we will learn more about the activities and expected results of this program. Refer to finance. Uh, Mr. President. Councilor Barnes. I would like to ask uh, my colleagues to indulge me. I do have a late file. If somebody could I'd make a motion Second. to accept it. Thank you. Motion made and seconded to accept the late file. All those in favor? Opposed? So approved, Mr. Clerk. Resolved that the Mayor, Superintendent of Building, City Solicitor, City Planner, and Paul McLally be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the status of ownership of the property located at 121 Main Street, Brockton. Refer to finance. Councilor Farwell. Moment of personal privilege. You may. Councilors, we, uh, we lost a distinguished Brocktonian recently. Judge David Stevens from Brockton District Court. He served as an ATF agent. He served as an assistant clerk of courts. He served as clerk of courts. And then he was appointed a judge. And Dave Stevens was one of those people who, no matter what his title was, he remained Dave Stevens. He never got too impressed with himself. He was always devoted to public service. And he conducted himself always with integrity, humility, and a great sense of humor. And I just would like to take a moment to mention that because among all of the Brocktonians who have served in public service, he stands out among the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. I, uh, I first of all just wanted to congratulate all the young boys and girls that participated in the Spelling Bee. Little Red Schoolhouse Spelling Bee was this weekend. I know many of us served as, as judges. Uh, both of the city council schools and other um, city officials. And it was just, a, as you know, you, you served, uh, Mr. President, just always a great annual event. Uh, there was one thing missing this year, which was former school committee uh, woman, Janice Byers, who really was the brainchild behind that event. Uh, but, but again, at the end of the day, we want to thank the Little Red Schoolhouse Association, all those that uh, spent countless hours, Sue O'Connell, uh, and it was a great, great, great experience. And again, uh, there were winners and there were uh, people that got awards, but at the end of the day, every single one of those kids were winners. So thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Councillor. <laughs> Councillor Barnes was already up. Oh, were you? you all set? Oh, uh, I was, but I'll, I'll defer to my colleague. Council morning. <coughs> Just a, uh, we, we will be having an ordinance, ordinance committee, committee meeting tomorrow night, 6 o'clock in the council chambers. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Burns. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to um, also ask for another uh, moment of personal privilege to recognize another Brocktonian who uh, sadly passed away this week, uh, Ms. Bernice Grace Reynolds Ethier, uh, one of our, our staples here in, in the uh, city of Brockton. Um, she was a, a lifelong um, veterans advocate and a lifelong member of the American Legion, uh, Brockton Post 35. Um, she lived to, to be the wonderful age of 90. I can only wish to, to live the uh, the colorful life that she did. Her grandson is actually here, Chris Koska, um, and they just had the services recently, and, and um, she's in turn in Bourne, correct? Um, befitting a, a veteran, um, a veteran uh, associate. So I just wanted to take the time to maybe just have a moment of silence for her and, and to recognize her achievement to the city of Brockton. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Thank councilors. You. Anyone else? Yes. Council is just, oh, Council Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, two things to mention here. First of all, uh, today, uh, the Adult Learning Center celebrated uh, the um, 100 years of the George Payne School right there on Crescent Street. And apparently, there are several members of this community that attended that school um, when it was an elementary school way back. And now it's been the Adult Learning Center for 16 years now. And uh, between the staff, 
board members, students, and uh, the teachers, they all got together and did a wonderful cleanup project, and we're recognizing 100 years, and the Garden Club came and planted some fabulous um, items, you know, plants and trees and shrubs all, uh, all around um, the area. And also, I want to remind everyone that uh, Ward 5 meeting, my second one, will be at Caffrey Towers Wednesday, May 25th from 6.30 to 8.30, and everyone welcome regardless if you live in uh, Ward 5 or not. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Stanski, it was a wonderful day when the paint school opened 100 years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I laid the first brick there, thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Just a reminder that next week is Memorial Day. Our meeting will be on Tuesday night, May 31st. Uh, you should be receiving the budget books by the end of this week. So do your homework and get ready for the week after. We are adjourned. <laughs>